Well, good morning from Dyna Days. And in the house today, we have a, a Rally Art Mitsubishi Colt, which is the 4G15 turbo engine, in for a remap with the Ecotec software. Uh, we're going to flash a Ecotec race ROM to the ECU, and that gives us the ability to data log and start fine tuning, etc. etc. Now, this car's got an air filter in the box, so an uprated panel filter, and it's got some silicon hoses. But as far as modification goes, that's it. So we expect it to still be a dramatic increase um, uh, and be night and day, to quote old Nicky Gar from Artec. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll do a standard power run, see what she's putting out, and then we'll uh, we'll like I say, upload the Ecotec race run and get crack a lacking. Okay, so Ecotec race ROM installed, base file from Richard installed. Um, now it's time for a power run. Nice stereo, Rich, but it's not got goldfish on it, has it? No goldfish. No, I don't think it's going to take some top in that goldfish, is it? That goldfish is my favourite favorite stereo I've seen so far. Yeah, it definitely, uh, definitely was. Like I say, you know when you brake hard, the goldfish should shoot off into the distance and then when you accelerate away, you should be up against the screen. Did you just come over here to talk shit to me? Yeah, people love this bit. Whilst at what, we love the bit where I'm trying to concentrate and you're yeah. coming here talking shit at me? They love it. Yeah. They love it. Well, yep. thank, thanks for your time and effort. You alright, Samuel? Hello. I've I just, I just discovered, you know one of the bolts for that bracket that attaches to the manifold? Yeah. Because there's a massive hole in the engine, it just isn't attached. So it saves me taking a bolt out. Excellent. Yeah. But it's probably still have to clamp a bit of shrapnel behind it, or is it completely gone? Well, we might have a bit of shrapnel behind it. Yeah, we That's... might have to clamp it to then get the bolt out, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Been paid yet? <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> Right, okay, let's go. Right, said Fred, let's get this video finished. So, Mitsubishi Colt Rally Art. Um, it's only got a panel filter. Uh, it's got a few silicon hoses, but that's pretty much it. And it's uh, it's mapped up really well, but we expected that. Hello, Richard. I thought in. I wanted to start with you. What are you doing that for? That's weird. Uh, I want to be in the video. I'm getting in it, you can't. Yes, I don't like I don't like this in the. In well, the it's video. Like just thought it added something to it. It's just a, just a little bit different. You got the Dino Days logo uh, in the background at an angle. Uh, not really. Well, people can tell us whether they like different angles or not. Everyone likes a different position. Well, okay, fair enough. Yeah, don't they? So it's only got like I say, it's only got power fill. It's done really well. It's made it finish on 194 brake horsepower. Yeah, well, pretty much what we'd expect to see, wouldn't we? 190, 195, somewhere around there, about 220 foot pounds, I think is what we've done. So, yeah, yeah, it's got some torque now, yeah. It's gonna, this some... is going to feel like a different car. Yeah, night and day, really. It, these map up really well uh, with a few mods that do even better. It's just that it, you spend a lot of money on these, really, in mods, and they don't make a massive improvement. It's the it, peak power that doesn't increase. Yeah, does the peak it? power doesn't necessarily increase massively. Uh, but they're a little tiny stock turbo and they do well for what they are, you know what I mean? Like I say, we always say with these cars, best bang for the buck, stage one map, you know, a cat back exhaust, uh, you know, K&N induction kit, diverter valve, 
uh, and then map them up and they'll make around 200, 225 foot pounds and they're as, they're as good as they're ever going to be. It's probably, to be fair, what they should have been from the factory. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I'd never be without one of these now. I love them. Well, you've always got several. Hey, well, I want to buy one. <laughs> got a few for sale. Got a few, a few for sale. Yeah, but I like it. Like I say, this is, uh, they're great cars for what they are. They, um, they do really well. At 194 brake horsepower. Apparently, they come out of the factory about 145. So, uh, yeah, 147, I think, is what they claim, isn't it? 147. Mm, so, mm. effectively, nearly 50 break up. So, you know, you've got to be happy with that. Yeah. I think, uh, I think customers all love it. Money well spent. Let's have a opinion. look at the graph and uh, do some paperwork. Let's have a look at the graph. Let's do it. I like this angle. Okay, so as we always say, red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaves. All that, all that space underneath that blue line is additional power. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to feel great. We finish on 194 brake horsepower and 218 foot pound of torque, which is, for a little map, really, really good. And I think it's going to transform the car. Um, what do you reckon, Rich? Do you reckon that's going to be uh, a lot better? Yeah, yeah, the torque will certainly make the world difference. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so there's another one in the bag. I think we'll get a photograph of it in front of the wall and then uh, job done. So uh, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we'll see you on the next one, won't we, Rich? We will indeed. We will indeed.